welcome to the people tutorials and for the creating bookshop management in visual c++ video series okay in this video i'm going to show you how to create a function to change the theme or a color or you can say a background uh, of the console so maybe most of you probably looking the con think console is the only black and white uh, theme but uh, we can uh, assign some uh, other colors as well so in this video i'm going to show you how to do that so for that i am going to create a small function okay and uh, okay let's start the function here okay main sorry function to change the background theme okay okay so um okay not that i am going i am creating all this function above main function so that's why i don't uh, um, have a prototype calling for all these functions so if any function which i am going to create below the uh, main function then i will do the prototype calling so make sure if you create this one below uh, main function so you should uh, uh, have a prototype calling uh, for the for these functions okay so make sure that one okay let's start the function now avoid color okay let's give the name color and start coding now okay integer color yol okay take it as a color uh, see out black and white team and white and black team okay let's try the two themes you can but you can give many uh, themes as much as you like uh, then return okay so I'm going to show you only how to uh, give the two two types of theme only black and white and white and black only all right do while is a user input valid for validation okay and it, i'm going to create two do whiles inside the one do while i create one more do while and that see how enter your selection okay c in color if c in dot fail then hold on a minute okay c out please enter a valid input and l and error equal one in dot clear these are the function i already created many times so i'm not explaining what are the things available here what are the things going on here so while error equals the one okay it should, it should return and if color equal one so this is the functions if color equal one if the uh, user enters the one here is one input for black and white team so it should change to black and white so the system color 0f so this is the function the 0 is a color for background color and f for f indicates the color of the text color so there is many uh, combinations available so you can uh, create your own combinations like a pink and white or green and uh, black something like that so there is a uh, coding available in the console window so you can give your own combinations to change the color as as you like okay once it is changed the color it should uh, close the application and it will you know uh, refresh the, app, the console window okay so return it all right or else if color equal to so it means the user input number two then this term color is f0 see here I, we have already given 0f and it's exactly 
uh, altered so 0 f sorry f0 okay this is a uh, it means uh, the white and black theme so white background black color text okay so again system close okay then it will return okay so it will return to the main function again main menu again so that's why we give the return command here uh, while so color not equal to zero so it means this user if the user not input zero so this uh, menu will return if the user into zero it will uh, return to the main menu okay system CLS all right so it will refresh the console window at the end okay so we need to call this one inside the main main function here see we are already here in main function okay so case 5 so color break okay we have created the function and I'm going to save this one and I will show you whether it is working or not okay so here main I already compiled this uh, let me increase the size of the text uh, then you can see clearly okay many of the users think I mean the many of uh, students think or everyone think that this is the black and wh white team but it is not actually not the black and white it's the black and gray if you see that text closer it is uh, not exactly white it's a uh, gray team so you may wonder why you have assigned the black and white team which is already there so this is not actual black and white I'm going to show you how what is the actual black and white okay so here is the menu here Okay, this is so okay take a close look on the letters I'm going to change the theme now okay here this is the actual black and white so that's why we have given that so if somebody like to use black and white so this is more clear to see the text and uh, from the black back black background so we will try to change the theme white and black again okay here I am going to input number two here it's white and black team is works perfectly okay now we have almost completed the main menu so now from next video we are going to get into the admin login and uh, the admin menu so there is a lot of function we need to create so I am going to move to that uh, part so those who didn't watch the previous videos they can watch and come back otherwise you won't understand the complete scenario all right until that take care guys bye bye i will see meet you in the next video